Hello, welcome to a new tutorial. In today's video we'll talk about changing WordPress languages, from the language of your own dashboard to the one displayed on your front-end website. So there are three main ways in which you can change the WordPress language. You can change the WordPress site language, meaning dashboard and some front-end features. You can change the WordPress dashboard language for your user only, or you can make the front end of your website multilingual. So let's start with the first option and change the general language of your WordPress site. To change your WordPress site language, go to Settings, General and look for the Site Language dropdown. All you need to do is select your desired language from the dropdown and save your changes. The language you selected is now installed on your site. This will automatically change the default language for your WordPress dashboard for you and your visitors and it will also change your site's front-end language and try to translate your front-end site if your chosen theme and plugin support the new language. But it's important to note that this will not translate any existing post or page content, it will only translate the default text strings from your theme or plugins, such as post date or comment count. Next, let's take a look at how to change your personal dashboard language without affecting the front-end website. To manually change the WordPress dashboard language, you or any other users can go to Users, Profile. Then use the language dropdown to choose your new language. If your preferred language does not show up in this dropdown, simply go back to your general settings and install it from the previous dropdown. Again, this will only change the dashboard language for this specific WordPress account. It will not affect other user accounts or the front-end language of your site. And last, but certainly not least, let's dip into changing the language your website is displayed in. This will add a completely new language to your front-end website, so your visitors can navigate it in their preferred language. Since WordPress doesn't include built-in support for multilingual websites, I'll show you how to do this using a free translation plugin. TranslatePress is a free WordPress plugin that lets you easily translate your website's content using a friendly visual interface and no code required. After installation, all you need to do is choose the languages that you want to offer by going to Settings, Translate Press. This is where you'll input your default language and the language you want to translate the website into. Then you can use the visual editor to translate your site's existing content into the new language by clicking the blue pencil icon on any piece of content or from the dropdown in the upper left corner. Now in the translation sidebar to the left, you can manually translate each string or if you want to save time, Translate Press also supports automatic machine translation via Google Translate or DeepL. Even if you use machine translation, you can still go back and manually edit those translations if needed. You can also find a tutorial on how to do that in the description box. So if a multilingual website is something you'd be interested in, Read more about Translate Press in the links below and see for yourself how easy it is to achieve. Give us a like and subscribe for more useful WordPress tutorials and thanks for watching!